Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes with the Word. I'm Barry Bryson, and we're continuing our study of the Ten Commandments, and we're looking at uh, the Eighth Command, You Shall Not Steal. Um, these, these laws, some of these laws like theft and murder um, and bearing false testimony, they show up in all legal codes. I mean, they're just, they're just so self-evident. Um, the Declaration of Independence talks about self-evident truth, and, and these are, these are self-evident truths. These are just a violation of basic, if we're going to live together in community in any way, these have to be part of our norms, part of our laws. Uh, you shall not steal. But, but beyond this, there's a connection with God. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, James tells us in James chapter 1. Um, and therefore, the blessings that we have, we have because God has given to them to us. And that which we do not have, um, we do not have because God hasn't given it to us yet. Um, and, and therefore, taking something that doesn't belong to you is a way of violating your relationship with God. It's a way of blaspheming God. It's a way of accusing God of not sufficiently caring for you. And then there are ways that we ourselves rob, rob God. Before we look at that, that passage in Malachi, that we, we steal from God, there are the things that we owe him that we steal from him as well. So when we think about you shall not steal, this, this is also, there's also a, a dimension uh, of this that is beyond just our relationship with each other, but our relationship with God himself. Jesus doesn't specifically mention this command in the Sermon on the Mount, um, as he doesn't specifically mention coveting. But in Matthew chapter 6, when he talks about you know, um, um, treasures upon the earth, not laying our treasures here, but having our treasures in heaven, seeking first the kingdom of God, uh, not to be anxious about our lives. Uh, you can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and money. Uh, he, he directly addresses both those commands. And, and, and the, 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 the divine dimension of those commands, our, our relationship with God. Malachi, in Malachi chapter 3, um, um, Malachi asked the question, uh, will a man rob God and, and you're, you're stealing from me? And that's in Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. Will a man rob God? You're robbing me. You say, how have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse for you are robbing me. The whole nation of you bring the whole tithe into the storehouse so that there may be food in my house and test me now in this says the Lord if I want to open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing until it overflows the things that we owe God which is that they owed a tithe you know God doesn't command us in the New Testament to tithe but to bring what we prosper so that the work can be done and and bring what we prosper is the is the standard that that, that Paul uses in 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Jesus says your righteousness has to exceed that of the scribes and Pharisees in Matthew chapter 5 and in other places as well. Um, we can steal from God is the thing that I wanted to, to point out. We steal from each other and we steal from God. And we have to think about um, theft, not just in terms of physical possessions or money, but those other things that we owe each other and the things that we owe God, like, like our devotion, our adoration, uh, our worship to God, or our respect and our love. Uh, owe no one anything except that you love each other, Paul says uh, in the book of Romans. Um, and, and, and um, uh, you know, that's the debt that you owe each other is, is the love that you have uh, for each other. And, um, in Romans chapter 12. And and if we don't love each other, then we're stealing from each other. If a husband doesn't love his wife, he's stealing from his wife. Um, don't rob each other, Paul tells the the uh, Ephesians in Ephesians um, um, uh, chapter 5. 
um, you know, um, th th there's the respect that you owe and the love that you owe each other. A husband's body is not his own, but his wife's. A wife's body is not her own. Don't rob each other. Um, you know, you belong to each other and don't steal from each other. Um, so th this is more than just about stealing eggs from a hen, you know, or rustling cattle or, you know, uh, fudging a property line, uh, moving the markers. All of those things are strongly condemned in Old Testament law. But we have to think in broader terms of the variety of ways we rob each other and the variety of ways we can rob God. And just giving God his due and giving each other our due and respecting and treasuring the gifts that God chooses to give us, that's the thing, that's what we do. That's how we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And that's how other things, the things that we truly need are added to us. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Okay, we'll continue on next time and we'll be talking about um, bearing false witness. Thank you for joining me for another five good minutes.